Another suggestion for closing the budget deficit deals with Proposition 13, which was approved by voters back in 1978 and long considered untouchable. Prop 13 caps property taxes and prevents big property tax increases after the value of a building or home is reassessed. But San Francisco Assessor Phil Ting is among those who wants to change that law, leaving everything in place for residential homeowners, but changing it for commercial buildings. He says billions of dollars could be raised by reassessing the value of commercial buildings and raising those taxes. Crown Four's Sarah Peel explains. According to the city's tax rules, this hotel here on Geary is worth just over $750,000, while this very similar property here on Taylor Street is worth millions more. Well, why the disparity? Well, city tax assessor Philip Ting says Proposition 13 is to blame. As Proposition 13's cap on values applies to commercial properties, too. 30 years ago, 59% of property taxes in San Francisco were paid by commercial industrial property owners. Today, they only pay uh, 43%. It's a big shift. He says reforms could fix that and potentially generate six to eight billion dollars in revenue. It's not a panacea. It doesn't even get you halfway there. So even if you did this tomorrow, which we're not doing, it would only get you a third of the way. Ting sees three options for reform. One, tax them at full market value. But Ting says that would be a logistical nightmare. Two, increasing commercial tax rates. Or three. Right now, Prop 13 allows us to inflate the values up to 2% a year, no more than 2% a year. We could have a different inflation rate of the assessed values for commercial properties. We could have maybe 2% for residential and a, and a higher percentage for commercial. In San Francisco, Sarah Peel, Cron 4 News. And summer school all across the state could be.